This is the Aurodyne Terraflux AT1500. What we're going to do today is a breakdown video. Let's get into it, shall we? On this miner, the fans are much easier to service in the field. You'll notice they unplug here, here, and down here. They very clearly tell you which fan is which. Fan one is the top, fan two is the bottom, and then again in the back, tells you very clearly, fan three is up, fan four is at the bottom. To remove these fans, you just clip the zip tie here. You can very easily replace the zip tie. Pull the plug on this four pin connector and remove the screws. Okay, so rear fans have been removed. You can actually see the three hash boards through the grill here. Let's go ahead and get around to the front ones. So, the grills are not, of course, interchangeable. Fan one and two always have to be on this side. Fan three and four always on this side. All right, let's get into the PSU fans. Once again, they unclip here, like so. Six pin. If you want to remove the fans, you're going to have to take off this plate. And then to remove the fans themselves, one, two, three, four. And that takes it off of this plate here. We've reached the end of our field serviceable parts, but to disassemble this, still very, very easy. Let's start with the back plate here. There's five screws. You can see the grooves for the hash boards here. I'm going to remove the PSU cover. Just one screw. Slides back very much like a bitmain ant miner. We're going to remove the PSU, so we have our Power supply here, control cable, four screws. Two screws here to slide it off. We have our power supply. That is, see some of the specs here on the label. Where the fans plug in. We have the input and fault lights. Let's go ahead and take off our hash boards. In order to do that, we want to take off this top plate, which is going to be these two screws here. And that lifts right off. So now we are exposed to our control board. Control board has three screws, one, two, and three. If it does not come right off, that is because it's actually plugged in to the hash boards with the connectors. So, wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. And voila, we have our hash board, which is off. So as I said, three connectors for the three hash boards. So let's go ahead and give you a good look at this. We have our controller cables here. Hash boards, two, four, six screws. These come straight off. They're marked negative, positive. Here's our hash boards. They slide right off. Only one groove, which is nice. No need to try to figure out where each of them goes. Single-sided board. We have our connectors, so no dealing with cables. Trying to pinch your fingers to get those off. A single plug in here. It has three heat sinks. These are not connected. We're going to try that just a little. Get that unstuck from the ASIC chips. Same standard type screw that you might see in most miners. As you can see, the layout is very, very similar. Three chips, one, two, three, 11 zones and four rows. Brings us a grand total of 133. So, layout is pretty much the same, and it is important to note, when you put this back, the serial numbers of the heat sinks need to be up where the connectors are. If you put these on and they're turned, 
it will not fit back inside. All right, so three hash boards, like so. Slide right out. And we have an empty chassis. Love that handle. That is our breakdown of the Terraflux AT1500 by Aurodyne.